Good day everybody. In this video I would like to talk about sensitive clay or it's also called quick clay. Uh, you might have heard, wow, this is quick clay, or, so this is very dangerous or this is very sensitive, right? So let's see what it's all about and how we can investigate it in engineering practice. Let's start first with this picture, the one that you see here. This is a very famous example. You may have already seen it many times. So in this case, um, they um, look at the clay, which is from Canada, Ontario. So this is undisturbed sample. This clay is very, very hard. You can see it because we load it with lots of weights, five kilos, two kilos, two kilos, one kilo, and a bunch of another weights. And this clay actually doesn't fail. So this is very strong example, uh, example of very strong clay. Let's see what is going to happen to the same, exactly the same clay when we actually remold it. So the way that we remold it, we will just break a structure. We may add a little bit of water and you will see that when we remold the clay, the same clay becomes as a liquid, right? It's not solid anymore. So it doesn't have its strength anymore. It just lost it, right? So you will see there is a very drastic difference in the strength. So this strength is very, very high, but when it's remolded, it becomes like water. You may wonder what happened, right? So what I would recommend, if you are really, really interested in the process that happened, if you can uh, go to YouTube and Google this uh, quick clay landslide, a Teresa, uh, you will see actually a video of landslide. The video goes for about one hour it, and it also contains explanation. So briefly, the explanation comes down uh, to the difference in the structure of the clay. So uh, this clay, when it's strong, it formed in the uh, environmental with lots of salinity like salt. And salt also acts uh, to bond uh, clay particles together. So when it's uh, remolded or when it actually interacts with fresh water, so fresh water would uh, remove that salt. It would uh, decrease the salinity of uh, inside the clay. And when it uh, removes the salt, it's going to break that structure, the structure that holds this clay together and make it very, very strong. So this is what can happen in um, uh, countries like Canada, uh, Sweden, Norway, uh, over a long period of time, if uh, uh, clay mass is um, um, actually interacting with fresh water, for example, somebody will try to build a pool and swim there and there is leakage from the pool of fresh water. So you will see uh, what can happen if you look at this video. So it would give you some explanation. Let's see how we can investigate it and uh, we can actually put a number of this uh, uh, sensitivity and we can also define if uh, clay is um, sensitive or not sensitive. The way to do it uh, is to um, find this uh, sensitivity index which is defined as the ratio between the strength of the soil when it's undisturbed, so when it's like this, very strong, and uh, a strength of the same soil when it's disturbed, so when it's, uh, in this case, remolded, right? So let's look at just uh, give some numbers just to uh, make sure that we understand how it works. Let's say that we have a sample of clay. We collected it uh, somewhere in Norway. Um, when sample is undisturbed, uh, the strength uh, was about, um, let's say, 200. 50 kPa, right? So in this case, we're going to put 150 kPa. And when it was remolded, we just remolded uh, the soil. And then we make another sample with it unconfined uh, compression test on this remolded sample. And we got that uh, the value of the strength was um, only 50 kPa, right? So I'm going to put here 50 kPa. So you see the ratio between 250 and 50 will be 5. So that's the sensitivity index for this clay. And we can characterize it by looking at this table. So in this case, uh, you will see that there is range of uh, sensitivity indices. 
So this one that you use for US standard, this one is for Sweden. They're kind of similar. Of course, uh, there is a bit of difference. Let's see what we have with uh, our clay. So our clay will be in this range. So it's uh, a medium sensitive. Uh, if we look at the standards in Sweden, so it will be low sensitive because it's less than 10. Um, just to give you a little bit of idea uh, what conditions are the best for engineering practice, of course, we would like to see uh, clay somewhere in this range, low sensitive, so something between two and four, if we use US standard, so that will be the best. This means that uh, the clay is not uh, sensitive or it has very low sensitivity. Um, unfortunately, when the sensitivity index goes to in this range, you will see that clay will be extremely sensitive and we can even call it quick. This means that we have to be very careful when we build the infrastructure, make sure there is no leakage of fresh water, there is no pools and uh, the structure and the uh, environmental of that uh, clay mass uh, remains the same. Well, that's it um, about sensitivity. If you have time, watch the video. Have a nice day. Bye.